hello, hello, my beautiful viewer. Thank you so much for viewing me. M here, the Traveling Tarot, wishing you guys a very happy Halloween. So, in the spirit of Halloween, I decided that I would be the goddess of butterflies. Um, because, you know, there's a lot of transformation going on. And uh, we are in a, a lot of us, especially um, cancers for sure, are in the middle of a major rebirth. So I thought what better thing to be for you guys on this special Halloween collective reading than the goddess of butterflies. So we're just going to hang out for a little bit. We're going to pull a few messages. I'm going to announce the winners in um, a separate video. But I do have a winner for the free reading. All right, so let's go ahead and clear the space and then we'll jump right into the read. Okay, so I am going to start with some oracle cards. I want to show you guys this beautiful, beautiful butterfly. Um, just how pretty it is. Anyway, <laughs> I'll make sure you guys see it because just sitting here, you can't get the full spectrum of it. So I will start by pulling um, one angel message and then we will see what other cards show up. I hope everyone has a wonderful and safe Halloween and is going to get lots of candy and have lots and lots of fun. What information can I give the beautiful viewer in regards to whatever situation they're focused on, Spirit? What will be helpful for them? Okay, so some of you guys might be having a little bit of a tough time in a situation. It says, no, conditions aren't favorable right now. Wait or look into other options and ask the angels to help guide and comfort you, okay? So first, I want to give you guys a huge hug because I certainly understand. Um, in fact, I'm definitely in kind of a major ebb in my own life right now. And I'm, you know, working to try to get the energy back into the flow of things. And again, you do need to kind of accept that ebb and flow of things. So um, I want to send you guys definitely a hug. Do what you can to, you know, just soothe yourself. See what other options are available. Take maybe a new approach. This is one, th one of the things I'm definitely doing myself just to shake things up a bit um yeah and just know that your angels and guides are there to help you because at the bottom of the deck we have the the archangel uriel and he says your emotions are healing which enables you to open to greater love i will help you release the anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind okay so some of you guys might not be in the highest of vibrational places right now and let me let me tell you like i said let me just give you a huge hug because i'm you know working through some things myself and um you know it could just be that lunar eclipse that we just had i mean my reads are timeless but um like i said there's a major transformation and rebirth going on so sometimes it can be a little shaky a little rocky getting there but let's see what animal spirit uh, spirit wants what animal spirit spirit wants us to embody as we navigate this energy that we're that we might be feeling right now my beautiful viewer okay because good things are definitely coming a transformation is definitely a good thing and i wouldn't be surprised if we see the tower card show up when we get into the tarot okay we had two cards jump out okay so we have action showing up okay and that tells us that now, I don't have my glasses, but let's see. <laughs> now is the time to take action. Move forward with confidence. Your talents will always help you land on the pinnacle. Your quick wit has been, and keen senses will lead you to success, okay? So it is definitely time to take action, but literally, you gotta wait for some type of inspired action because if you go in this energy that that this card is exuding right now, 
it may not give you the results that you're seeking, okay? And then we do have the hunchback whale that showed up, and it says singer. It says sing healing songs for the world. Your inner navigation will always guide you. Nothing can stop you or keep you from your goal. Align with your purpose and the power in your soul, okay? So now is a really good time. The action that I would say take is do what you can to tap into who you are and what you now what you now are, are seeking, okay? Because um, even though things are not the way that you want them to be right now, oh, I love you so much, Spirit. The, the butterfly showing up at the bottom of the deck, and it's like I said, rebirth. <laughs> it makes perfect sense, and I was literally about to say, this is what that transition period will feel like sometimes, okay? It can feel a little rough because you're used to going in one direction. Um, it's kind of like combing your hair in a certain direction for your whole life. The second you try to comb it a different way, you got to do it. It takes a little bit, you know? It's used to going this way, so... It just takes a little bit to, to, to slow that momentum and get it to go in a different direction. But we do have the butterfly showing up. And with the butterfly, you know, the goddess the butterfly showing up, I firmly knew, especially with some of the stuff that I've been living and experiencing, that right now is pivotal to the transformation. I'm literally in that transformation, and I'm sure a lot of you are as well in this gestation period where it feels a little rough sometimes. It's not always shits and grins, and that's okay. But we also have to be okay with feeling like that sometimes. We just don't want to wallow in it, okay? But I definitely want you to know that it's because of this rebirth that it feels a little bit uncomfortable right now because first the energy shifts when you shift your perspective, and then you're ready to go, 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 move. But the matter has to move with it, okay? There's a lot of different things that are being orchestrated that have to come into play, and they also have their own momentum, okay? So it, 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 it's this sort of, I've got, like me, I'm a ball of energy ready to move, but still Knight of Pentacles, and, and it comes up in every single personal read of my own and Cancer read, the way that it's like wait and watch so that you can, can conserve your energy and make the right move so you're not wasting your time or energy, okay? It says you can reinvent yourself. Open to the rewards of change. You have brilliance to share with the world. Love every part of the journey, okay? And just know that you are in a beautiful, beautiful transformational place, viewer, and I'm so thankful for you to confirm that for me, Spirit, because I can feel it, and I've been getting my own personal messages, but it's nice to know that, you know, the collective is also transforming. Things feel like they're falling apart, maybe, but they're not. They're falling together. Sometimes things have to fall away to feel like they're coming together, and it seems fucked up, and it kind of is sometimes, but not when you look at it from a broader perspective, okay? It's fucked up when you're in it, for sure. No doubt, and that's no lie, okay? And I'm not even going to pretend like it's not. But you have to find a place of faith and comfort. And although you want your conditions to change, although you want those conditions to change, you have to find a way to relax into them. And I get it, I get it, I get it. Coming from a place of extreme poverty, lack of, lack of confidence, you know, sometimes wondering how we were going to eat. I'm thinking, how am I going to find that place? But you have to figure out how. And you can ask your angels for help because they are here to help you. You know, Angel Uriel says he's coming in to help you thwart that. And you know, it's funny because the angel of patience shows up when I pick up the angel of Uriel. So just know that it is going to require patience. It's going to require focus. But it's not going to require anything that you are not capable of. Okay, just keep that in mind and keep telling yourself that, okay? We have distant thunder showing up, okay? And it's, it's time to clear the air. It's time to clear the air, okay? You've got to be honest with yourself. You've got to be honest with, with others. And you've got to feel like you can speak your truth freely and openly. 
And that's the only way you're truly going to find any type of happiness. But it's funny that that distant thunder card did show up because I was feeling very towerish <laughs> with um, some of this stuff that was already showing up. So it makes sense that it is time to clear the air, okay? So now, this if it involves another person, no matter what it involves, it's time for you to speak your mind about what you want and that's it about what need, what you need to feel fulfilled, okay? Because I still find myself more concerned with how you can feel fulfilled and I almost feel like a bitch being focused on how I can feel fulfilled. And then it's like, why would I feel that way? That's kind of crazy. But anyway, <laughs> it is time to be honest with yourself, okay? <sighs> the conditions may feel a little rocky right now, but sometimes that tower has to come in to shake things up because it isn't even that you don't want the change. You want the change. You want to feel better. It's that you maybe don't know where to start. You feel like everything's fucked up and you're just like, all I really want to do is lay here and watch Will and Grace. <laughs> it's been a rough couple of days, but <laughs> thankful for Classic Hulu. <laughs> Let me get you guys another card and see what else Spirit wants you to know. Okay, it's time to definitely speak your mind. That clear the air has, you know, dual meaning for me. Yes, speak your mind and communicate clearly. But air also represents thoughts and perspective. So maybe it's time for you guys to shake things up with your perspective and how you see this situation or most situations or your own personal connection with whatever it is you're trying to create yeah it's so beautiful because every time I start to make a statement the cards come out to to kind of kind of match what I'm saying it's some type of an impasse so it's time to redirect that energy it comes out with clear the air whatever message that's coming through right now for the collective whatever conditions you're living that are not favorable um, Try to look at them from a different perspective, which comes up with um, redirect, redirect that impasse, okay? It says redirect, I'm sorry, reflect and redirect your energy, okay? Try, maybe look at different options, look at a different approach, but you do have to start with shifting the perspective because, again, we are not out here just trying to bang things into place anymore. We are trying to allow things into place because we're trying to conserve our energy for the things we want. We've wasted enough time, and I'm talking about we, including me. This is exactly how I feel, so I'm positive. A lot of you are feeling that same way. And I'll throw this in the, I don't know who needs to hear this, but it's coming out really, really strong right now, okay? It's time to redirect that focus, redirect that perspective. Do Look at it from a different perspective, if you can. Find a way to act it out where you're that person, okay? And they'll be like, oh, well, she would say this. No, try to be honest with yourself, okay? And see how maybe they might feel about it, okay? Um, yeah, that's. I love you so much, Spirit. Because we have discovering the truth showing up at the bottom of the deck. And that says, you stand in the light of truth. If you stand in the light of truth... You don't have to worry about clearing the air and speaking your mind because here's the thing. This is the truth and that's it. I don't um, I and if you say it with enough conviction, you will not come across like an asshole. You'll come across with a person who knows the truth and will only lean on the truth. Okay? You stand in the light of truth. You are covered in truth as long as you want to be. The truth does not force itself on you, okay? You have to focus on the truth because there's a lot of things happening that are that are very easily available to get us focused on not on things that are not the truth. Or to help us live in fear. But you know to be honest, I don't think it really is about living in fear. Because everything is about perception and the greater good of our evolution. 
So it's necessary for us to have doubts and fears and things that we need to see and overcome. If it was all milk, spirit may as well have just stayed spirit instead of breaking itself up into us so that we can find ourselves, understand more about ourselves. Whoa. Okay, that's definitely too many cards. So I'm going to take one more of these and see what other information Spirit wants to have, and then we'll jump actually into the tarot cards. Oh, that's so beautiful. It's just more confirmation, you guys. Okay, the more you cling to that truth and discover your truth, the more blessings will be showered into your life, because that's exactly what this card is saying. Blessings are showering into your life. I just love these cards so much, okay? And, you know, as soon as you can redirect that focus, you will be able to see everything, including this situation, as a blessing. And I know that when you're in this situation, you definitely can't see it as a blessing. But I promise you, spirit is only for our highest good. It's not trying to get us to worship it. It's trying to understand itself. And that's the reason why it's an impartial observer. That's the reason why we have free will. So that it can see what would happen if we went this way instead of that way. That's the way it gives us free will so that it doesn't already know the answer. Although it does. <laughs> it's pretty cool, actually. But, um, yeah. Shout to the heavens with happiness, okay? Embrace enthusiasm because blessings are showering into your life, okay? And that was at the bottom of the deck here. Shout with enthusiasm because blessings are absolutely showering into your life. Even if it seems like something or someone is leaving. Just know that it's a necessary thing. It's a necessary thing. I'm kind of enjoying these oracle cards, so I'm going to pull um, from this Shaman Dream deck, and then we're going to pull one of the Divine Time oracles, because I'd like to see, you know, what information Spirit has in regards to the conditions you might be going through, and what might be either blocking the movement, or when you can expect some real movement, okay? not the greatest shuffle. <laughs> Alright, Spirit, what information can I give? But you know what? The beautiful thing is, is at the bottom of this deck, I'm looking and I see the fortune wheel. Luck and right timing. Things are literally getting ready to flow into... A, they're, they're not getting ready to. They're flowing in a different direction. The thing is, is if you keep looking here, you won't be able to see the movement in the other direction because you're not looking in the right direction. And it's literally just... And I will always say this, it's literally just a few ticks of perspective that get you to see and understand that, okay? Yeah, some of you guys might feel like you guys are definitely doing a balancing act. You're doing what you can, and to be honest, I feel like this sometimes when it comes to finances. When it comes to a lot of stuff, but mostly finances has been my focus. feels like, you know, I've, I've always got what I need. <laughs> I always have it whenever I need it, but I never, f uh, well, whatever. We're not declaring anything, but it, I get the balancing act, okay? So um, if you do feel that way, you know, it's time to reprioritize, maybe get some, some time management, maybe take some courses. That's what I've decided to do, especially when it comes to, like, business and financial stuff and investing. I know zero about that stuff. So I decided, let me get organized, which will help this balancing act that you feel like you're doing. It says dances on one foot. <laughs> It'll help that balancing act. It'll help redirect your focus and energy to prosperity or at the very least improvement because you don't have to believe. We're not, we're not trying to force you to believe anything, okay? Believe as far as you can believe, but try to believe in the direction of this is possible, that's all. I was raised kind of in a home where I wasn't told that, you know, so I had to find that myself. So it is possible to find that yourself. 
even if it takes you your whole life, to be, be devoted to knowing that anything is possible and not anything, everything is possible. Okay, whatever you can see and conceive and be. Yeah, the cosmic womb. We have the divine feminine showing up, okay? It is definitely time for you, especially if you feel like you're doing a balancing act. If you feel like you're doing a balancing act, it's definitely time to tap into that feminine energy because you know what? This is a six card and that balancing act is a nine card. So that is showing me that you guys are actually almost to, this is what I say about this transformation. You guys are almost to the end of this. And this, and I'm saying this even to myself, this is the reason why it feels like Because you're almost there, so you can see the finish line, but you still have a little bit to go. So you're just kind of like, oh my god, I'm so almost there. So that urgency or that impatience, it feels a little more heightened. But if you tap into that feminine energy, you'll see that's the sixth card, which represents harmony and cooperation and abundance to some, to, to some, to some degree, as well as relief. Okay, so tap into that divine feminine. Energy. Okay, it is not asking you to do more to change your conditions. It is asking you to feel more to change your conditions because you're being guided directly to it if you can feel the impulses that spirit is giving you nonstop. It's how we're even be being able to move, how I'm even able to talk to you guys right now. Is the spirit is giving me the information and I'm translating it. Yes, this is why, oh, I love you so much, Spirit. Okay, okay. So we have gestation period. It's exactly what I just said. I would not mind if, I would not be surprised if we saw the seven of pentacles show up when we get into the tarot. But yeah, you're in, you're in that gestation period. It's that transformation period, just like I said. So this is why feeling like the conditions are not the way you want them right now, or, or, or you know, this is, it says no conditions aren't favorable right now. They don't feel favorable because you've expanded beyond the conditions. So it's very uncomfortable sometimes in that transition period because you're ready to blast off. And like I said, there's cooperative components. There's other things that need to be orchestrated. There's other people, other energies involved sometimes. So you can really feel, you know, you can really feel like things are not moving, and that is, you know, we have the wall showing up with obstacles, okay? That's just confirmed with that. You can sometimes feel like things are not moving fast enough. And it's this gestation period, and you know what's beautiful <laughs> about this? I love you. Wow. This is the 63 card, which breaks down to 9, which gives us the harmony and the fulfillment that is showing up. This is what's coming through this gestation period, okay? So it really would do well to see about redirecting that energy, redirecting that focus, allowing your angels to guide you, and seeing what you can about tapping into that feminine energy, because I know some of you feel like, how can I do that? I've got responsibilities, I've got kids, I've got bills, I've got this, I've got a husband, whatever. You can't afford not to tap into that energy, or you're going to keep on doing the balancing act. It is not asking you to do more. It is asking you to be more. Just be. It doesn't need, <laughs> you know, you to jump in there and do the balancing act. It just needs you to be a cooperative component and a vessel that it can flow freely through. Okay, and I know, look, preaching to the choir. Okay, I am looking at the person who I'm talking to most, me, about this, because I get it. It's human nature to want to jump in and fix things and, and, and change things and bang things into place and make it happen and no pain, no gain. But I'm telling you, pain, no gain <laughs> is the new 2023 version of that. Pain, no gain. You heard? 
All right, good. So we're going to pull a Divine Timing Oracle card, and we're just going to pull one of these um, just to see kind of... Look, I already know what, you know, we're going to get some type of a message card coming up because, look, the way that this reading is going is showing that you guys are doing some type of balancing act and, you know, even more looking at this gestation period, and again, just tapping into my own energy about this. I've been doing the balancing act of, okay, I'm patient, okay, I can hang in there, okay, I'm in the flow, and where the fuck is it? Okay, so I get it. I absolutely get it. Is that some of you might be doing that same balancing act as well? But look, we got that as a nine card. We got this gestation period as a nine card. That is fulfillment. That is almost there. Okay, so just hang in there. Tap into that divine energy, that six with that harmony, that cooperation. And just know that spirit and your angels oop, are guiding you directly to it if you can find some form of peace in whatever it is. Okay, and look at that. As soon as I pull that, as soon as I do that shuffle, it's the sooner than you expect. Okay. And that spirit wanted me to say that because it just came out. And that's just to confirm. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> you know, yeah, you know, it, this is why I love, this mask is getting a little weird, but this is why I love these cards. It's coming for you. Divine timing is at play. Okay? So, hang in there. <laughs> hang in there, okay? It's coming for you. Divine timing is absolutely at play. Oh, thank you for confirming that spirit. Because energetically, I have to admit, it's been a rough couple of days for Ma. No lie. But, I now understand that I can come, I, I, I just, I know what to do to get back there, so it's not this big, hairy, frightening thing if I have an off day, or two, or three, like I said, these last couple of days, but I've got a lot going on. Um, I rest in the knowledge that I can always, I know what to do to get back into alignment, so this is also being in the flow, just letting the energy flow Knowing that divine timing is at play, if you can rest in that knowledge, it really does help this um, urgency, this, oh God, I'm still doing this. It does help this gestation period that may, you know, have some of us, and I'm talking about us, me too, feeling like, can we go, please? <laughs> Okay, so if you are feeling that way, Spirit wants you to know that it is coming for you. So hang in there and um, do what you can about tapping into that feminine energy and, you know, prioritizing, managing your time. This really feels like two of pentacles energy. Um, it's something that you're capable of. You've been doing it, but it's something that's not really serving you anymore. But the two also represents balance. So it's showing me that as you tap into this divine feminine energy with the six there, if you tap into that energy, then it will bring that balance. It will bring that balancing act to balance. <laughs> okay? So we're going to go ahead and jump into the tarot. Um, oh, thank you for this. It's coming for you, Spirit. That just makes me so happy because I understand this energy very, very much, and I, like I said, let's just get together and feel all right, let's talk about it, let's love one another, and let's give each other a hug as we can, because look, we're all living our own thing that we're transforming into or out of, okay, at the very base level, we can, we can actually connect in that level with others, doesn't matter if the, what the variables are, the formula is the same, okay, what other information do you want to give the viewers? Oh. See? <laughs> With the sun. Ooh. Ooh. 
We got the sun coming up, and it's coming for you. Spirit wants you to know it's time to just relax into life. Do you know the sun is actually one of the most positive cards in the deck? But the most beautiful thing about the sun is that it reminds us two things. It has sunflowers in it, which it, which it reminds us to, to always look towards the sun. Always look to positivity and vitality and energy and enthusiasm. And then it has the little kid on the horse there. You know, horses are movement, but horses are also power. You know, and the kid has innocence. There's there's power in innocence. Thank you for, for, for making that so abundantly clear. And it shows up with the magician. This shows me that, yeah, these are going to be some big changes. And that's what I can feel because I myself am going through those major changes. And these are, these are, that's why I say it's, where's that gestation period? <laughs> It's that gestation period where you've got to nurture it, you've got to water it, you've got to love it, you've got to believe it into being. You've got to imagine it, you've got to write it the way you want it to be, you've got to script it. Whatever helps you get to the vision and get it to believing it, uh, with the magician card showing up there, it brings the sun and it brings it much quicker to you. And what it does is it redirects that focus off of why isn't it here? So you want to make sure you're not doing it in that energy, okay? And, and also, you're not doing it too created because it's created already. You're doing it so that you can get yourself to believe it, so that you can feel it enough, so that you can think about it and imagine it in a way that you can feel it, okay? That you can feel that it's happening for real. What other information do you want to give the viewer spirit in regards to, dude, we are getting all major arcanas. We have the moon showing up, okay? This is about building on a more solid foundation, okay? Things being revealed to you and you using your intuition to guide yourself to the sun. We also have the eight of cups at the bottom of the deck. It's time to walk away from this familiar stuff and head towards the unknown. The moon shining brightly there in this card as well. We got the sun, the moon, and the eight of cups. It's time to walk towards something more fulfilling. So walk towards vitality and positivity and health and happiness. This, this is what this gest gestation period is all about. There, my beautiful viewer. This gestation period is bringing you towards the sun. This is why uh, this is why I say things are being orchestrated. Things are coming to light. Things have to kind of happen in in a certain order. And for that, um, that's the gestation of it. Okay, and that's why sometimes you might be ready to move fast, like the Knight of Swords. Um, but, you know, it's just time for you to work hard and focus, like the Eight of Pentacles, which shows up here. <laughs> okay? But also, this comes in to show you that you are moving fast towards the sun. You are, things are being revealed as you clear your thoughts and, and, and think, you know, just think from a different, more a broader perspective with that clear the air card. Okay, because also knights represent communication, especially the Knight of Swords, are, are bringing in something, um, and they're typically on a mission, okay? So if you are on that mission to speak your truth and, and, and clear the air, you're headed towards the sun a lot sooner than you thought, because it's going to continue to reveal this hidden knowledge with the moon showing up. Okay, we have it's coming for you divine timing is at play. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys when I say that other things have to kind of come into play in timing as well. So just pay attention to detail with this eight of pentacles showing up and focus on how you want it to be and, and, and how you, not even how you want it to be, how you can feel it becoming because of your preparation that you're putting into it with the eight of pentacles, okay? This is how 
This is how you distract yourself from it not being here yet, is by putting in the preparation for it, because you know, as I always like to quote Miss, Miss Oprah Winfrey, preparation meets opportunity. Opportunity will show up, you want to be prepared, so that is what you, and if you can shift your perspective into thinking that, yes, I am preparing for this opportunity that I know is coming, that's the energy right there. Not only does it free up this, oh, God, why isn't it here yet? But it keeps you excited about the journey. It keeps you excited about the journey. So I am going to pull. I've got like too many cards on here. Now I've got to figure my shit out, but I will. Um, <laughs> I'm going to pull a couple of more tarot cards to see if we can get any further clarif clarification. And then I'm going to get you guys going and wish you guys again a happy Halloween. Stay tuned. In the next video I'm going to be releasing um, shortly after this one today is going to have the winner of the um, free reading. Okay. And uh, if you're interested, I do do um, personalized readings. The information is definitely all in the description. There's also going to be a video to the left or the right of me that will say... So if you're interested, please feel free to reach out and let's chat. Okay, Spirit, what other information can I give the beautiful viewer in regards to how to navigate this gestation period? Because I'd like to know my damn self, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> no, bye. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> did I get some ugly to flipper? Because it felt like I did, but no, I guess not. There we go. Tap into that infinite strength. Spirit, I love how you just bebop and scat. Yeah, you gotta tap into that inner, that inner strength. This is the steampunk tarot to the pocket size. Um, yeah, tap into that inner strength and tap into that creativity with the page of cups showing up to the bottom of the deck. You know, expect the unexpected, but most importantly, create from a place of love, okay? Create moments from a place of love, create interactions from a place of love, create and focus from a place of love, and then that will be tapping into that inner strength, and then you will see the sun and the outcome that you are absolutely seeking, my lovely viewer. What other information can I give the viewer in regards to this gestation period? and redirecting their energy and focus. Ah. I will take these as well. We have the Seven of Cups. Since, okay, yeah, you, you have to choose. <laughs> That's really what this Seven of Cups is speaking of right now. What is it that you truly want? Okay, and this is a way the moon, well, well, here's the thing. The moon's going to come in and let you know exactly as it reveals this hidden stuff to you. But it would do you well to pick one thing right now, focus on it, and give your energy all to one thing at a time, okay? There's a million things we all want to accomplish, a million things we all love to do. And we are 100% capable of doing all of them, but not at the same time. <laughs> okay, we have to be able to give our focus to the things we are trying, excuse me, the things we are creating fully. So that, not, you know, not only that, but we show the universe that we are committed to our vision. Okay, so while everything might look pretty right now with the Seven of Cups, just make one choice by the thing that's going to fulfill you the most and focus on that right now. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles showing up. Remember, those those all came out, actually, together. The Eight of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups. Focus on that. Then we have the Eight of Pentacles show up at the bottom of that other deck. Pay attention to detail. Give it your focus. Give it your 100% focus. And that's showing up with the Seven of Wands. These two fell out together. Give it your focus, stand your ground, hold to your vision is what the Seven of Wands is saying. And you will see, you will get the balance that you seek with justice showing up at the bottom of the deck. And that right there for me is a mic drop. 
Okay, we have two. We have it showing up. We have it. We have it as a, the eleven card, which breaks down to two, which brings in balance. We also have the sword of truth. We also have justice, which represents balance and truth. So, um, get clear on what you want. Seven of Cups. The moon's going to come in to help you release any illusions that you're holding on to right now, okay? Because some, some hidden knowledge is going to... Your intuition is always guiding you to the truth. So any type of illusion, if you're tapped into your intuition, won't really be guiding you astray. You'll be headed in the right direction at the very least, okay? Even if you make a, a, a wrong decision, you can always choose again. Focus on it and hold to your vision with the Seven of Swords showing up, okay? And the Eight of Pentacles, okay? Be willing to shift your perspective and redirect that energy with the Knight of Swords showing up, okay? And you will get the balance that you are seeking, okay, my beautiful viewer? So I'm gonna pull a couple of self, oh, a couple of self care cards, and then I will send you on your lovely way. I appreciate you guys viewing me. Stay tuned for the November readings, uh, the individual readings. I just wanted to get you guys something out for Halloween, and also I will be posting later today um, the winner, rest, <laughs> the winner of the free reading, rest. That is, yeah, I mean, that's that feminine energy. That's that feminine energy. That's that meditating. That's that breathing. That's that getting out in nature. That's that sleeping. That's that relaxing. That's that kicking your feet up and, and watching a good movie and laughing your ass off. That's what, that's, that all falls under rest, okay? It doesn't all just have to be lying in bed all day. It's whatever is going to put your mind at ease for a moment from whatever you're focused on that may not be helping. It may be blocking, okay? And it's, it's totally fine, but your awareness to it helps you make that shift, okay? And we also have read. So audio books, regular books, knowledge is really, I mean, it, it just, I was just talking to my friend about this yesterday. You just don't have to have a question anymore without an answer. So seek that knowledge. Seek things that resonate with you and seek things that are going to reconnect you to spirit and yourself and allow this um, gestation period to become, take this gestation period to get the rest you need, take this gestation period to get the information and knowledge that you need because when it does show up, it's going to be moving really, really fast. And when it does come, it's going to be coming really, really fast. So you're going to want to be well rested. You're going to want to have the knowledge that you need. And you want to be prepared for what it is that's coming to you, okay? I'm so thankful again that I get to do this for you. Please like, share, subscribe. Follow me on all the other socials. Check me out on Spotify. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, <laughs> I love you guys. Take care of each other. Happy Halloween. Peace. Okay.